اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session, we looked into how to solve issues in discriminant validity. In this session, we are going to look into how to design a measurement model with different low, lower order constructs. Now, the proposed model for this series that is to be analyzed is this one. This is quite a complex model with two higher order constructs, some mediators that are on lower level, then moderators and uh, ultimate dependent variables. Till now, we have focused on a simple model just to address or understand the basic concepts with regards to smart PLS. Although a number of these things will repeat as we go on with complex model as this one. Now, how do we develop such a model that has got both higher order constructs and lower order constructs? Now, what is the difference between a higher order construct and a lower order construct? Now, this here, vision, development and rewards. These are the dimensions of internal marketing. Now this, these three dimensions are lower order constructs and this here is your higher order construct. Similarly, internal service quality here, empathy, responsiveness, assurance and reliability. These are the sub dimensions of internal service quality. So empathy, responsiveness, assurance and reliability are lower order constructs and internal service quality is higher order construct. Similarly, these three variables, these two moderators and this endogenous dependent variable, they are lower order construct. They do not have any dimensions. They have just items that are directly measuring these particular constructs. Now, before we analyze this whole model with higher order constructs, the first step for any analysis is to have all your lower order constructs analyzed. Now, even though if you do not have any higher order constructs, the process remains the same. You just skip a one process that falls within the final analysis and the analysis of the measurement model. For now, since we are focusing on this particular model and we do have higher order constructs, we are going to first analyze all the lower order constructs. Even if you do not have any higher order constructs, this is the first step. So how do we perform this analysis? How do we start analyzing this model? The first step again, your lower order construct analysis. Measurement model with all lower order constructs. So I'm just going to keep this one open and let's open smart PLS. Let's create a new model, right click, new PLS SCM model and let's say measurement model lower order constructs and this is within this project here it's a PLS SCM model and let's save it now here it is here is your canvas let's have a look at the constructs vision development and rewards so where is vision here is vision these are the four indicators for vision so select them drop them here it will ask its name we are going to keep it as VIS that smart PLS takes from these initials, then development, drag and drop, enter, rewards, enter, and what are the other variables? Support, commitment, and culture. So where is support? Support. This is commitment. This is culture. Now I'm going to arrange it a bit here. Just let's reduce the size a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Let's say this is fine. That's development. Let's put it here. Move the indicators to the left. Here, yeah, move the indicators to the left for this one as well. So here it is, vision, development, and where is rewards. Move the indicators to the left. And here is your reward. Let's put it in here. Now, move it here, and that's fine, here. Now, this is 
POS, OC, CC, and next it is internal service quality, and that is actually reliability. Enter assurance, empathy, and responsiveness. So I've added all of them here. And now this is important. I've got two moderators here, role ambiguity and role conflict. Do I add them in my model? Yes, you will add them in your model because these are lower order constructs. You are not going to add your moderating effect yet, but you are going to add the moderators because they are part of the model. Here it is, role ambiguity, role conflict, enter. Okay, let me save all these indicators. So how do we do this? Select one of them, press Control A, and then Alt X, all of them are now hidden. If you want to show them again, Alt C. In this case, Alt X is fine. And finally, I've got to go with my dependent variable. Here it is, my dependent variable. Now all of them are added. Again, Alt X, it is hidden. So this is your independent variable here. These are your mediators, POS, OC, CC and then these are your moderators. We are going to keep it here like this and then the internal service quality, all these four sub dimensions of internal service quality. Here it is. And it will help you arrange by drawing this highlight. This is OP, I'm going to put it here. Responsiveness is going to come here. Now these here, these are your independent variables. These here are your mediators. These are your moderators and this is your dependent variable. Now have a look here. How do you link these variables? So first internal marketing is linked with all the mediators and the dependent variable. Now we do not have internal marketing here. So what we will do is we will link each of the dimensions of the independent variable with the mediators here. So I'm going to link all of them I'm going to quickly go through it. Now I have linked the independent variable with all the mediators in the study. Now I'm going to quickly go to select and move it down a bit here. Move this one up a bit. Here it is. Now your independent variable here is also linked to this OP here. So I'm going to link this one as well. Here it is one, here it is two, here it is three. Now that this is done, let me arrange it. Let's put POS here. This is a mediator, this is mediator as well. Now, what about this one? You can't run the model, it's already read. Now these two here are moderators and they are moderators between culture and OP. So what we are going to do is we are going to link these two variables to the endogenous variable for the relationship which it moderates or rather these variables moderate. So connect and they are moderating the relationship between CC and OP. So I'm just going to connect to the endogenous variable in that relationship. Again, your mediators are linked to the DV as well. So you connect here, here, That's it, all your relationships are done now. Now once the relationships are done, go to select, you can arrange them just to create a bit more space here, a bit more space here, a bit more here, that's fine. Let's put it here. You can drag them here to make it a bit more neat if you want. Now that this is done, the first step is measurement model assessment for all these lower order constructs. How to do this? We go to calculate PLS algorithm and start calculation. Now here is your output. Now these are your path coefficients 
and if you click here and press alt c you can open up your model with the indicators and you can see these values here and these are your factor loadings bring your mouse cursor here to the latent variable you can see the alpha reliability row and ave for one particular construct click here you will see the other ones if you click here press alt c and you can see all the indicators now the first step is to have a look at the loadings so whenever you are assessing a measurement model the first step is the loadings in the next session i'm going to look into the assessment of this particular measurement model with the loadings reliability and validity thank you very much